Hey guys, how you doing? It's Sean from RideSharing101.com. Please check out the website. I have links to the Facebook page. I have short stories about some of the more interesting people that I've picked up. And I have the YouTube channel in addition to the ebook that I have for sale. And today I want to talk to you about fast food for the vlog. And it's not, you know, whether you should take people to fast food restaurants and, and you know, wait for their order in the, uh, in the takeout line in the drive-thru, which of course you should never do. I cover that in the book. But um, it's about sort of my interaction with some people um, regarding fast food. And I work the weekends and what I do is I tend to work a split shift. I'll start anywhere from four to six in the morning. I'll work till 12 or one, take a break until four or five and then work another five hours till you know nine or 10 at night. So it was Saturday and I'm taking a break. I park at the mall because there's a bookstore there. I like to read a little bit, kind of get the cobwebs out of the head, out of my head. And down to the food court. I placed my order with a very nice young lady. And on my debit card, the magnetic strip on the back is, it has a lot of wear and tear to it. So it doesn't work most of the time. And I inform her of that. And she tries swiping it. She tries the trick where you put a receipt fold a receipt over it and slide it through with the folded receipt paper on it and that doesn't work and, and I tell her well hey it's got a chip so if you have a chip reader it, it's you know that works fine and she informs me that she's sorry that they don't have the chip reader and I say well okay there's plenty of money on the account so just go ahead and you can punch in the number and she informs me that they're not allowed to do that it's you know company policy they can't manually enter the numbers and I was like oh and I was a little dejected because I was kind of looking forward to you know getting my lunch there and then very sweetly she looks at me and she says do you want me to buy you lunch and I'm kind of puzzled and I'm like excuse me and she's like do you want me to buy you lunch I can buy you lunch if you want since your card doesn't work and I was a little sort of taken aback it's, I was stunned and I was like, no, no, that that's okay. I, I appreciate it, but I do have money and I, I can get some from the bank later. I'll, I'll figure it out. Um, you don't need to buy me lunch, but, but thank you. And as I walked away, I was, I was still kind of shocked because that was, that was very kind. And I'm not used to that kind of behavior. Uh, in my day job as a gardener, I, I frequently have to deal with the public and I'll you know, tell them things like, hey, I'm, I'm sorry, but your dog is not allowed on the athletic field or on the tennis court. And they tell me, well, my dog is well behaved and um, I'll, I'll walk him wherever I want to. So F you. And I hear that a lot, believe it or not, in San Francisco. There are a lot of, you know, entitled people. So um, I'm not used to dealing with friendly people in the public. And when I get out into the, the other world, the real world, if you will have it, um, it's just, it was really nice. I was sort of stunned and I was like, wow, that's great. It's a nice affirmation that there is sort of hope for, for humanity and that there are kind people in the world. Um, so I just sort of filed that away and didn't think much about it. And then last night I had a pool ride and I dropped off the first passenger that I spoke with for a while. And I hadn't really said much to the, the nice Asian woman that was next to me. Uh, young girl and I started with oh so you know where am I dropping you off at I the, couldn't really tell from the map she's like oh I live in Baby Hunters Point you know it's I've been there for a couple of years I'm like how do you like it and she's like well you know some people say it's the ghetto but uh, I haven't had too many problems I'm like well you know there's the ghetto and then there's the ghetto and um, and that applies to Bayview Hunters Point depending on where you live uh, she was on the outskirts in a, in a, in a you know in a decent area and, you know, we're talking and, you know, I'm asking her, well, you know, what do you do for a living? What do you do? And she sort of looks down and she goes, I, I, I work in fast food. And I immediately thought of this, the other girl, the woman, sorry, uh, that I dealt with the day before. And, you know, I, 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 I tapped the woman next to me kind of on the, on the arm and I said, hey, there is absolutely nothing to be ashamed of in, in working and in working an honest job. There's nothing wrong with honest work. And she seemed to kind of cheer up a, a little bit from that. And I wanted to tell her the story about the woman uh, from the previous day, but we 
were sort of approaching her house and there wasn't really really time for that and I wasn't I didn't really mean to suggest that she should buy people meals because you know that's not uh, the intent of the story but just that there's absolutely nothing wrong with working fast food. There's nothing wrong with being an Uber driver. There's nothing wrong with being a gardener. And that's kind of it for the vlog for the day. That's just my thought. I have these thoughts. Sometimes they deal with rideshare. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes something that happens during rideshare reminds me of some aspect of life that I want to talk about. So uh, that's it for this, this vlog. Drive safe. I'll talk to you tomorrow.